good afternoon and welcome. My name is Sandra, my channel is called Sussex Sandra and welcome. How are we all doing on this uh, rather grey and cloudy and freezing cold Sunday afternoon? Last day of January, yay! This has got to be the longest month ever. It has just been a painful, painful month. It has been for me, don't know about you, but it's just been a long month. Anyway, this afternoon I thought I'd um, try some new makeup. Um, I don't know why but it caught my attention that The Ordinary have brought out a concealer and I was like oh okay that's interesting because I remember oh god how long ago was it now probably about it's probably about three years ago maybe maybe even longer but I think it's about three years ago maybe two three years ago um, they came at The Ordinary which are really known for very affordable high quality skincare items. The Ordinary bought out a foundation, they bought out two foundations, a serum one which is like a very hydrating moisturising foundation and they bought out a coverage one which is more full coverage and matte. I did go ahead and purchase the matte one and you know what's one of my my more popular videos on my channel which is like hey I haven't done sort of figures like that in quite a while it was one of my more um, more popular videos so anyway they brought out this concealer and I was like right okay yeah I'm kind of interested in that because one the foundation was actually pretty good and two I have had some serious bags under my eyes this pandemic has led to me just not sleeping very well my sleep patterns have gone to hell and I have started to just get a few little dark circles under my eyes and just bags and I thought yeah get some concealer which I can wear during the day in a work week and that hopefully can just cover up these little bits and pieces so the foundations get get the price the found the the concealer was a very affordable price it was how much was it four pound ninety which is really good so I thought okay let me get that and then I thought oh, I might as well get myself a foundation as well because the foundation I think was again two three years old so it's pretty old so I thought let me get, get myself a new bottle of that because again very affordable price so the foundation is £5.90 so I put those in my basket and I thought let me just go and check out on YouTube see who else has tried this concealer out and see what their thoughts were on it I tend to like to look for people who've got very similar skin colouring to me and skin type um, like myself as well so sort of on the combination oily side so there is a YouTuber who I follow quite a lot I've been following for years now um, she has changed her name now um, her channel name is now TMC Natural her first name is Valerie and that's all I always think of her as Valerie but her, her channel is called TMC Natural she did buy the concealer and she got herself a new foundation as well so obviously thinking like me yeah get yourself a new one and she did what was a natural thing to do well to buy a well I think it's a natural thing to do she bought a concealer in a shade just like a shade lighter so just to under eye brighten because that's how most people now tend to use their concealers just to brighten under their eyes and give their face some shape and definition so you're not so you won't have just a flat face of color so she bought oh I'm trying to remember what color she bought she bought or oh, I should say my foundation shade is 3.2 N which is described as deep neutral I'm very neutral undertoned so she bought 3.1 Y because on the site it looked like 3.1 Y would be a nice sort of shade under um, hers just to brighten up under her eyes and she so happened to also buy 3.2 which was just as well because when she did a uh, um, uh, what you would call it a swatch on her skin of 3.1 y it was really 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 light it was way too light and you know, that was surprising and then when she did the 3.2 which is the shade of her foundation it was actually the right it looks like the right shade for an under eye concealer so it seems it appears going by her video that the if you're buying the concealer you buy a concealer in the shade that's that is your same as your foundation shade because they will give because they'll just assume that you're using a concealer just like everybody else does as an under eye brightener so it'll be like the right shade underneath that's what I'm assuming um, it's very much like what Fenty did Fenty Beauty when they came out with their concealer it wasn't the same shade as their foundation it was like a shade or shade and a half two shades lighter than your foundation so it would work nicely as an under eye brightener 
that's what that's what it appeared to do i also bought a few other things as well but i'll show you those things as well so i'm going to try all of those products on now if that's all right with you guys yeah so let's first of all put on some primer so i've got two primers going on here i've got the smashbox oil and shine control primer and i've also got the milk hydro grip one so i've got these two going on here so i'm just going to put a mixture of both of them on i'm probably going to have to go off interrupt this video because i'm also cooking sunday dinner at the same time so i'll have to go off into the kitchen and do those mum bits which you know that's no that's things that you have to do on a sunday really right okay oh i should have done that first i should have done the swatch first shouldn't i oh never mind i've done that now let's see right so this is my box of goodies from cult a very plain box so, and let's get the products out so this is the foundation in 3.2 n doesn't say there so that's the foundation put that there this should be concealer um in 3.2 n so that's the concealer there. and then i also bought some brow products and some lip products as well so let's go ahead and do the foundation first shall we this should be quick and easy because this should be exactly as it was before so just to remind you the foundation costs uh how much is the foundation five pound ninety that's what it looks like it's a plastic bottle is it plastic i'm trying to remember i think they said this the the plastic is of a recyclable material and it's just a pump so let's do this i'm gonna use a sponge to apply my foundation today because that we need full coverage and this is a very full coverage foundation i can't get it out guys it's not coming out oh no there we go so that was like a, a pump and a half there so that's the color 3.2 n let's put this on The undertone is um, slightly got an almost purple undertone to it. I don't remember that, but but there you go. That's what the coverage is looking like with a sponge. If you use a brush, you will get more full coverage. okay so that's what one half of my face looks like with the foundation yeah it's just a, a, a what i'd call a medium coverage so that's fine for my purposes today i don't really want full coverage right let's do another pump do the other side okay there you go so that's the foundation on this is shade 3.2 and you can see it's it's drying down to a sort of natural matte sort of skin finish not quite like that so that's how it is let's move on to the concealer so i've got the concealer in shade 3.2 n and i'm hoping i haven't made a mistake but i but i am going by what i saw on the video that you buy your shade so that's what it looks like and just to remind you the concealer costs four pound ninety i bought all of my stuff from cult beauty there are other sites that sell the product but i just got it all from cult beauty because i tend to use quidco and quidco i get cash back and cult beauty is quite quick at giving me my cash back the cash back from quidco is i think it's about six percent it's just about six percent cash back and with my cash back i get a cash back usually within a month month and a half um, and i just accumulate it all and then i treat myself to a few purchases during the year um, i put all my cash back into my paypal account and then i use that at some point to buy products and stuff later on all right so that's what the nozzle's like so let's do this 
So I've just squirted a little bit on because I just want to see what the coverage is like. I'm hoping the colour's going to be all right as well. Yeah, that's fine. You can see that it's you can see that it's a couple of shades lighter, so that's perfect. Yeah, you can see that it's just just about a shade lighter, which is exactly what I want. So it'll give me just a natural under eye brightening. That's nice actually. That's good. And it's quite a thin liquid. It's not thick. I thought it might be thicker, but it's not. It blends out really easily. You can see how well that's blending out actually. That is nice. We'll see if it creases because I have got a couple of fine lines under my eyes. They've even developed those lines are sort of getting more deep in the last couple of weeks actually. I need to sort my sleep out properly. Yeah, I actually think, looking on camera, I think that is a nice shade. So it's about a shade brighter. If you buy your shade in the foundation, in the concealer, it'll be, it seems like it'll be about a shade brighter than your foundation shade. So it'll be just the right colour for under eye brightening. Yeah, I like that. That's good. That's a really good shade. So I'm just going to put some powder on just to set the concealer. Go and check on my kitchen and I'll be back in a minute. Back in five. Okay, so I am back. I just had to sort of check on the roast chicken and the rice and peas, just got to check on all of those things. So how's this all looking? It's probably, my under eye has probably over, overset now, but you know what? I am so oily skinned, I don't think it really matters. So how does this all look? So I'm actually quite pleased with that concealer. It was just the right shade. It's not too overly bright. I mean, I'm of a certain age. I don't want to be looking ridiculously ridiculous like I've got panderized and you know, a Trumpism sort of thing gone wrong um, so yeah the foundation is as good as I remember it considering the price remember we're talking under six pounds here um, the face powder I'm using is one I got in one of my American Beauty boxes I think it might have been in my Ipsy glam bag and it's just that IT Cosmetics bye bye face powder I got so it's poor pressed um, finished pressed powder so I'm just using that now just to just to set the rest of my face really okay good right I'm going to go on to some of the other things I purchased so I also purchased from Cult Beauty I needed a new brow pencil and I automatically always go to buy my Benefit I either buy the Benefit Goof Proof brow pencil or I buy the Benefit um, Precisely My Brow pencil and I normally get those in shade five which is like the deep brown it's an automatic thing i always go for them but i just thought i might try something else because those products are, are what like 19 21 pounds something like that i can't remember you know i never pay full price for anything i always use a code or a discount code or something but they're in that price range so um Colt was selling, I didn't realise Colt Beauty did NYX, so they do the NYX range as well and NYX have got this sort of micro brow pencil thing so uh, how much was this? So this NYX uh, micro brow pencil and it cost £10 so it was still a bit of a price but yeah I thought I'd try this out. Oh you know what I forgot to tell you that concealer right, which was what £4.90 or however much it was comes in 36 shades 36 shades that's pretty impressive isn't it so there is no way you're not going to be able to find um, a concealer which is not the right color for you you know you can probably experiment you could probably buy a concealer for your under eye to actually you could buy a concealer to actually conceal you could buy a concealer to use as contour if you wanted to at that price you know buy three all right so with the NYX brow pencil <laughs> 
I do jump around, I apologise. The NYX Brow Micro Brow Pencil. I bought it in shade Espresso, which I'm hoping will be the right colour. Um, it looked like it's a brown black colour. I'm trying to open it. Ugh, there. Let's try this out. So you've got the spoolie at one end. There you go. There's the spoolie. And then... Oh, wait a minute, there's nothing there. Do I need to... Yeah. I need to spiral it up. Okay, there we go. So that's the actual colour there. Ooh, that doesn't look right, does it? Let's see what it looks like when I put it on. Um, let's get one of my little mirrors. Yeah, that kind of looked a bit grey-brown. So let's try this out. Let's see what it's like. Oh no, the colour's fine. Good. There you go. Let's bring him in. Colour's fine. I mean, I've never been very good at doing brows, so I can't do all those big fantastic shaped brows so I'll just try to follow my natural brow line and go from there oh I like this this is a good color right I think this might be my new brow pencil from now on because I've got various um what do you call those pomade things but I don't like using the pomades I'm not I'm just not very adept at using them so I find pencils a bit better for me yeah that's all right it's okay. I mean, the shape's not great, but that's just literally my natural brow shape. So it's not the best shape, but I can't do all those big brow things. Have we seen that trend for that kind of bushy brow, bush baby look? I really don't like it. Um, and it's sort of like, they really like make their brows go wild, big sticky up things. They look like, they just look unkempt. I really don't like it. But it's, if it's what, what these young girls want to do, then um, yeah, go for it. But not for me ouch it's okay whatever you do don't press too hard i just broke it so i just need to scroll up again yeah i'm happy with that okay so let's use the old spoolie then i'm going to go in with a brow gel finish off my eye makeup and then i'll come back with you with the rest of the stuff i purchased <laughs> Okay, so base is done, eyes are done. I've just gone for a one shadow look. Well, I used a sort of a base colour from the Jackie Aina palette. I think it was a shade Ginger. And then I went in with my Seattle London, um, I think it was called Wicked Eyeshadow, which I got in one of my Ipsy bags again. So uh, just sort of two shades on my eyes. So I did a little bit of bronzer, which was the Benefit Toasted. So I did a little bit of blush in, um, I did a little bit of blush from the Moraine Butte brand. They're Swedish and the colour is Terra Rouge. I love this colour. It's such a, just a natural earthy colour on me. I also did a highlighter, which I've got in one of my UK beauty boxes, I think. Or I might have got it in one of my Ipsy Glam bags. I've got, I've got a feeling I might have got it in one of my UK black owned beauty boxes and that was this highlighter here which i've gone on and that's it so the final things that i purchased from cult beauty again from the nyx brand was some lip liners um i'm trying to get away from using brown lip liner all the time so the brown lip liners i normally use are the mac um oh what's it called i can't remember what it's called it's just oh can't remember for the life of me what it's called is it chocolate? I think it might just be called chocolate from um, from MAC. Then from 
Rev Revolution Beauty, I use their lip liner called Glory, which I think I've, I've got one here, but it's literally down to a, a knob, so there's not much of it left, to be honest. I'm just trying to take this, oh, I've just broken my nail. Darn. Well, I've got to do my nails tonight anyway. So I bought two lip liners, one that looks like it could be a, a another brown shade, which I want to try, because obviously if I can find lip product if I can find products that are in the colors that I like but at a cheaper price from the normal high-end brands then of course I'm gonna go towards those and I always like to see if there's alternatives out there just in case they stop making things because you know brands do that man they wrap this thing tight this is one of the colors from NYX it's actually quite it doesn't look as dark as I thought it was what color is this no this shade is moonwalk that's the colour there, Moonwalk. Let's try that, see what it's like. It's hardly showing up to be honest, is it? Which could be a good thing. I mean, it's not dry, so that's good. At least it's not dry like some of the lip liners we've been receiving in the beauty boxes. Can you actually see anything in my lips? I can see it faintly, but it's not much of a colour. So that was the colour of Moonwalk. Um, oh, I really have broken my thumbnail here. Great. Let's peel it off completely. Ouch, 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 ouch. I think I've gone too far. Ouch, 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 ouch. Ouch. Oh well, serves me right. I'm trying to do things in a rush. And this is the other colour I purchased. I purchased this colour which was Club Hopper. Um, these lip liners from NYX cost... They cost £4, so nice and cheap. £4. So you know you can never quite tell what the colour's like until you can actually try it on I think that's the only thing I miss about going in store because a lot of my makeup I actually do buy online but I do like sometimes to try things on go into the store and try things out for myself just to see what the colors like okay this color looks quite hopeful actually so that looks quite hopeful it looks more of a, a rich brown so that could be quite close to my chocolate color from mac so this shade is club hopper that's what it looks like oh that looks like a good color that looks like a good color right let's try this out yeah this is the color so club hopper from nyx and this is the suede matte collection suede matte lip liner the color is club hopper this color is closer to the mac chocolate Yep, that's good. Right, happy with that. Now, I've tried, I bought one of their lipsticks. Again, I, can't, I can never go in without buying a lipstick. So this lipstick is called, it's from the Suede Matte collection again. So this is a Suede Matte lipstick in La La Land and it cost £8. Right, ooh, that's the colour. Ooh, that's brighter than I thought. Ooh, wow, that's a lot brighter than I thought. I thought it was more of a subdued colour. But let's try it. Okay, so that colour's alright. It's um it is brighter than I thought. I thought I was going for more of a, a brownie red colour. It is it is a, a red colour with a subdued brown undertone, but it's a colour I can work with. Let me see if I can put that lip liner a bit more over it. Yeah, okay quite happy with that so the foundation is looking good the concealer is looking good I am fairly happy with my lip liners I mean they're only four pounds each so I'm not too worried about if I don't go back and use them again but I probably will use that club hopper color again and the lipstick is, is nice it's all right it, it kind of goes with what I'm wearing and it's a color I would comfortably wear it feels creamy gives a matte finish and it's not drying so that's my final look guys so yeah there you go a little bit of makeup for you today on a Sunday 
what are we thinking? Yeah, definitely like that. Uh, I definitely like that The Ordinary Concealer. I think that concealer is great. So just remember with the concealer, again, I don't know if this works right across the whole shade range, but definitely it seems in the, the dark and deep skin shades. If you buy the shade you buy in your... If you buy the same shade you buy in your foundation, in your concealer, it will be appropriately light enough to use as an under eye brightener. So you don't need to buy a shade lighter. Buy your shade and it should be the right shade for you in your foundation. And that's exactly what Fenty Beauty did with their concealer as well. But yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Um, I'm, I must admit, I'm still liking this eyeliner, which I got again in one of my British um, beauty and uh, black owned beauty boxes it's um, just an eyeliner and I've seen these knocking around quite a few places now it's an eyeliner that acts like a glue for your lashes so I think they're great so much better than using glue you just put your lashes on and that's it having a bit of trouble with this lash but I think it's because it's old I haven't worn it a few times now so I should probably retire it after today but yeah there you go guys that's the final look All right. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you soon. Take care. Oh, and don't forget, today is the last day of my January giveaway. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel as yet, you're not going to be able to enter my giveaway. I do a giveaway every single month. It lasts for the whole month and I finish it on the last last day of the month so that's today january the 31st so if you want to enter that giveaway you need to go to the right video answer the question fulfill the requirements but you do need to be subscribed i will pick my winner either tomorrow or tuesday it'll probably be tomorrow and then i'll do a video to say who the winner is of my january giveaway all right guys take care see you soon bye